I'm here with my good friend Charles Williams. We're going to do a little demo on the uh, the Jade Pillow Gate, and uh, I'm going to show it to you first of all. If you mind, turn around here. It's this point right here where the skull comes down at the top of the spine. That's the the Jade Pillow Gate, and um, uh, and then it lines up here. And we got another point right up here at the at the back of the head, the posterior fontanelle, which is the where the the parietal bones up top here meet the occiput right here, and that that, that the soft spot on the baby's uh, on the baby's head. Anyway, that's the uh, we want to reach up with that point. So that's like reaching up to the, and that elongates the neck and opens up the jade pillow. So if we just do a little quick little demonstration, the idea here is uh, if Charles has his chin, chin kind of chucked in, he reaches up with the uh, with the knee wand point or the martial crown. Some people like to call that point uh, the, the, the knee wand, the bai hui, which is up here. But I want to make, really make sure that when I'm referring to the knee wand, I'm talking about the, uh, this point right here at the posterior fontanelle. If, if I push in and Charles has that going for him, I can push in as hard as I want. He's not going anywhere, even though his feet are, the feet are like set in stone. If Charles just lifts his chin just slightly, there's a kink in the hose and he's gone. It, the energy gets blocked immediately because there is pressure being put down here on the medulla oblongata and that causes a, uh, the, the chi to get blocked there and the spirit of vitality which gets released by opening the jade pillow gate gets gets uh, jammed up so we want to keep that keep the chin down and in a little bit reach up with that and we get that we have this we have superhuman strength with effortless power